Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be looking at another Bateria MPPT solar charge controller. This particular one is a 20 amp charge controller. I was surprised when I got it in that it was just slightly bigger than my iPhone 12 mini. During this test we got snowed out a little bit so this video was delayed over a two week period. We have a couple successful tests with this both having the same results in the Michigan Sun. This is the 20 amp unit uh, when we unpackaged it. Here's the part number to make it easy to find. Here's both units that we have, a 20 amp and a 10 amp on the right hand side. The 10 amp unit has Bluetooth. Very cool little app um, that you can do all kinds of settings changes and histories and trends. Uh, the one on the left is the 20 amp. It's a very straightforward two click setup. Pick the voltage, pick the battery type and you are off to the races. Make sure you plug in the battery first though. Here's the website that has some extra equipment in there, some fasteners, connectors, and wires that you might find handy so that you have a little extra wire. You can move your portable panels out away from your um, camp and get it into the sun as needed. Uh, Bateria's website's easy to use. Uh, they take PayPal, um, a couple other things, but very easy to use, good to do business with. Here's a few cut sheets of the product line you may find handy. This unit will accept 300 watts at 12 volts or 600 watts at 24 volts. Very versatile little unit. So again, I use the iPhone 12 mini and this thing is the same size as that phone, uh, just a little thicker. Um, this thing, you can mount it to the wall or whatever. Um, in my case, I use it as a portable charging unit so I won't be screwing it down to anything. Uh, it has the real quick easy connects to plug it in and out. Again, I bought the extra wire because it makes it easier to move the panel into the sun versus moving your camp. This will charge up your portable power stations or lithium batteries, lead acid batteries. I even used it to uh, jump start my tractor. Uh, I had to leave for work and I just plugged it in and when I came home I had a full battery. That was kind of cool. Here's the manual and please be sure to reference this. So I installed the unit close to the battery for a quick test. I wanted to see if there was any difference. Installed close or further away, it didn't matter. It was negligible. But um, I wanted to show you the two clicks. Uh, you can set up the voltage type, uh, 24 volts or 12, and then you can pick the three different types of battery chemistries. Uh, in this case, it's lithium. Um, once you have that, um, you want to plug your solar panels in last. And as soon as you do that, you'll see this thing start charging. So it's got four mounting holes you can see in the corners where if you wanted to screw this to a wall or a board or something you could. On the right hand side this is the battery input. This always gets plugged in first. If you plug in the solar panels that's in my left hand, if you plug that in first you're going to smoke the controller. So please make sure you plug in the right thing first. Battery first. You get your battery set up and then plug in your solar panels. It's very simple. The top LED shows the uh, state of charge of the batteries. Uh, the batteries are in good shape here, but it shows you, uh, you know, the 25%, 50, 75, or 100% charged, and it lights on the bottom to tell you the battery chemistry type. So you want to make sure that the the battery gets plugged in first, and that the positive goes to the positive terminal. Then you can select in the um, set and enter button right there, you can select the type of battery that you have. And in this case, we're a lithium ion phosphate battery, which is the one on the right on the bottom row. So once you have the right battery selected, uh, then you got to make sure your solar connections and polarity are proper. And then you can hook this thing up and see what kind of power you make. So let's uh, plug that in and see what we get here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to turn this panel, I'll turn this panel around in the sun, and then we'll be able to see what we're really generating. I got the back side of this bifacial. So we'll flip that around and see what kind of current we get out of this now that we got it plugged in properly, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're in the, we are in the wintertime in Michigan, and the sun's 
got a pretty harsh angle coming towards us which as you can uh, maybe or maybe not see we're getting 13.7 amps out of this right now and i'll try to move the solar panel around a little bit but just to double check what we're what we're getting from from power output i'll make sure this thing is sitting with a decent angle on it the serenity um, i believe it's a 220 watt bifacial panel so let's see what the battery the battery shunts reporting for power yeah, look at that it's it's accurate so we were getting 13 and a half out there and we're getting 13 and a half in here let's look and see what the other shunt is showing how about that 13.7 is what this says and i noticed this seemed to be just a little bit on the high side so that single panel is uh, working great with that charge controller. So we got our single our single panel and got it running over to the where the fuses are. Always want to use fuses. Again, this is just a temporary connection. And now we are up to 14 amps because I I think the sun is finally getting rid of all the clouds out there. Thank God for that. All right, so we're connected out there and our battery voltage has dropped down enough that our charger will kick in. Set you guys down for just a second while I plug this solar panel in. in and right on cue she is putting out some wires now in Michigan here the sun's kind of at an angle so we'll have to see you know it's, it's late in the afternoon so I may not have the best sun for to get the full 20 amps out of this thing not while it makes sure the panel's turning but uh, as you can see we're almost 16 amps Move that around a little bit to see if we can improve that just a little bit. Okay. So I wanted to share, uh, this is some of the equipment I put in the camper to make it easy to monitor the uh, rooftop solar panels and the charging systems. Um, it's from uh, Renogy. I bought all the stuff on sale. There's nothing uh, special about this. Anybody can buy this anywhere. I'll have the links in the description in case you wanted to research some of this stuff yourself. This is our gateway, this is uh, the one core. It makes it easy for me to remotely monitor this thing and you can control a few switch plugs. This is the solar panel I got, uh, really a high quality panel, my facial so I can tilt it and it gets power from both sides. Um, these are the three batteries I have inside. Again, they're um, you know, arguably one of the better batteries you can get out there in the market. And this is me, Happy Camper, all unplugged so we can do uh, some off-grid camping. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it if you hit that like button.